Some say Elon Musk is the Antichrist because he envisions a world where everyone is microchipped, creating a utopian society. Elon Musk co founded the Neuralink Corporation. It's a neurotechnology company that develops microchipped, implantable brain machine interfaces. Is Elon Musk the Antichrist? Is he the creator of the mark of the beast, the chip? Well, I say yes, he is. As the Bible states, the mark will be on their forehead or hand, and no one will be able to buy or sell without it. Elon is working on the chip now. But let me first tell you his vision so you can understand clearly the agenda. Elon has a vision for the future and it's called long termism, which he was influenced by Nick Bostrom, who runs the Future of Humanity Institute. Think of Nick as the emperor and Elon as Dark Vader. They have concerns that intelligent and wealthy people aren't procreating enough and that morons will outbreed the elite in our society will crumble to ashes. For example, in Bostrom's 2002 paper, Existential Risks, analyzing human extinction scenarios and related hazards, which is one of the founding papers of long-termism, he identified dysgenic pressures as one of many existential risks facing humanity, along with nuclear war, runaway climate change, and our universe being a huge computer simulation that gets shut down. A possibility that Elon Musk seems to take very seriously. As Bostrom wrote, it is possible that advanced civilized society is dependent on there being a sufficiently large fraction of intellectually talented individuals. Currently, it seems that there is a negative correlation in some places between intellectual achievement and fertility. If such selection were to operate over a long period of time, we might evolve into a less brainy but more fertile species, Homo philoprogenitus, lover of many offspring. All of this sort of fear-based thinking is what causes destruction upon the world. So his fears are the less intelligent outbreeding the more intelligent has caused technologies to be thought of and invented. Elon Musk Neuralink company has invented a microchip that they implant into the brain. They implanted the microchip into a monkey whereas it was able to play a video game called Pong telepathically. Reminds me of the movie Lawnmower Man made in the 90's. Check it out. It's such an eerie similarity where scientists were trying to make human beings smarter by injection and putting them in a virtual reality environment. Intelligence is enhanced and they develop psychokinesis and telepathy. They claim it's safe and Elon Musk refers to Neuralink's implant as profound as it could possibly provide a solution to help individuals with spinal cord injuries revive their health by obtaining full body functionality. We hope to have this in our first humans, which will be people that have severe spinal cord injuries like tetraplegics, quadriplegics, next year, pending FDA approval, Elon Musk said. Well, it looks like other companies like Synchron has beat them to it already, implanting a mind reading device in the first U.S. patient in a paralysis trial. He continued, I think we have a chance of being able to allow someone who cannot walk or use their arms to be able to walk again. Well, I say the devil always come bearing gifts, but this is how they will get the politicians, lawmakers, and the general public to accept it. Claim it solves people's health problems. The ultimate plan is to get enough people chipped to create a utopian society 
where everyone will most likely not function like a human anymore. You will be like a cyborg. You will be super intelligent and act like AI. Hence, even if less intelligent people keep having more children than smart people, advanced genetic engineering technologies could rectify the problem by enabling future generations to create super smart designer babies that are as such superior even to the greatest geniuses among us. This neo-eugenic idea is known as transhumanism and Bostrom is probably the most prominent transhumanist of the 21st century thus far. Given that Musk hopes to jumpstart the next stage of human evolution by for example putting e electrodes in our brains one is justified in concluding that Musk too is a transhumanist. Basically that's what Mars is about. Colonize Mars. Everyone is chipped and connected as one to some mainframe computer. You will supposedly be happy about all this living in a simulated utopia and expanding colonizing the universe in which they would call the Virgo supercluster. I'm thinking the mark of the beast comes into play when they try to chip everybody and people reject it and uprise against it. Now laws are passed, you must take the chip, it makes you civilized and a better human being. If you don't take it, you are a danger to society and we don't want to go back to brutal barbaric human beings, so take the chip or off with your head. That's what the Bible states. Big, big facts. Peace.